There's only one rule in this jungle. When the lion's hungry, he eats. Well, if that's the sort of thing that's supposed to be considered upper class, I guess I must just be getting too fucking old. How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Zero went there. No, that's okay, we'll move on. Well, if you couldn't tell from my dapper look, I really need to wash the rest of my clothes. Did you see that new film? You know, what's it called? Oh, that's right, The Gentleman. I'm gonna try my hardest not to be British the entire time I'm actually doing this review. The Gentleman, the new film from Guy Ritchie, starring Matthew McConaughey, Charlie Hunnam, Colin Farrell, Hugh Grant, showing that criminal can in fact B class as well. It's been a little less than 20 years since we've seen Guy Ritchie tackle the whole seedy underbelly of the crime world, always using his British slang as the background for his film. Now, considering the fact that his other films in recent memory were Lockstock, Two Smoking Barrels, and Snatch, you could even put Rock and Roller in there if you really wanted to. Seeing Guy Ritchie go back to his roots is something that I've been wanting to see for a very long time. He had his time with Sherlock, and they were actually quite good, but where he succeeded was in the seedy underbelly of British crime drama comedy. Dramedy, if you will. No? I thought I would share with you my thoughts, whether or not it really is what it sells itself to be. Let's look at the good. Hugh Grant and Colin Farrell are absolutely loving their role. A degenerate blackmailer who is very good at what he does. Absolutely steals the show from scene to scene. Now, it's not the kind of movie that you would typically see Hugh Grant in. Granted. But let it be known that Hugh Grant is an absolute domino. The rest of the axes sell the pieces and he just knocks them the fuck down. Proving that blackmail can actually get you somewhere. Don't try it at home, I've already been blackmailed a few times today. It's not even 6 fucking a.m. Colin Farrell, as crazy as he is, is really enjoying his role. Older, wiser, sophisticated Irishman. Being able to control and give wisdom whenever it comes his way. Always adding in the feralness that makes up Colin himself. He just brings a type of nuance to the character and the way that he sort of just slices up the movie as it goes. Cinematography, the editing, the writing especially. If you were going to be seeing this and you wanted one takeaway from why exactly it is a must-see, it is simply because of the fact that writing is amazing. Just flowing through everything and it works beautifully. Adding in the fact that it does have a lot of British slang in it doesn't take away from the initial story. It actually adds on to it, develops it and makes it exactly what you're looking for. So with all that, the Guy Ritchie soiree just makes it leap off the screen. But with good, there's always some bad. <laughs> I just want to stress this out now. Matthew McConaughey is a great actor. He's been nominated however many times over. He's even won. Don't get me wrong, having his character in it is good, but I feel like he was miscast at one. Didn't really have the proper nuance and accent when it came to actually playing in a British film. He was trying his hardest, trust me, but that ultimately hurt it as well. He would go from southern to his all right, all right, all right. <laughs> accent that he usually does, adding into a little bit of British when he would say, hello love, didn't flow right. I could absolutely see him in this role, but it didn't really need to have him as British. You could have had him as an American traveling to Britain. One of the other negatives is the fact that it was a little too slow to start off with. Now this film goes for about two hours, which isn't really that long considering the fact that there have been three, four, five hour films that have come around in this world that we live in. But when it comes to this, the first 20 minutes could have been shortened. Granted, Hugh Grant is Granted, Hugh Grant. Granted that Hugh Grant himself really does help to push these 20 minutes along. His conversation between him and Charlie Hunnam are a very good way to open the film. But going from that initial opening to this, there had to be some changes. Those are really my only negatives though. So aside from that, it was a fun time. The characters are top notch. The acting is great from specific people. The screenplay and the writing just flow. Few little hiccups along the way, but that does not stop the gentleman from being exactly what it is. A criminal classic. So that's why I'm giving this particular soiree. Brilliant. Lovely. Now I always like to end my film review with a quote from the film. All right, for hook, come the for hook down. You know it when you see it. But that being said, did you see it? Will you see it? And if you have, let me know in the comments. Until then, I've been DJ, and always remember, did you see it? I don't care, I'll drink this whole fucking thing right now. I don't give a shit. Now it's only six, eight in the morning. You know what that is? Alcoholism. Okay, I should probably cut that. <laughs>